The India-UK Together Season of Culture is a 10-month initiative to bring together people and ideas to create opportunities for them to share, to collaborate, to learn from each other and to create partnerships that will last a lifetime. It's an amazing place to meet artists from all over the world. And we're delighted to be here at the Jaipur Literature Festival as part of the British Council's India-UK Together Season of Culture. Literature is a really important part of the season of culture because we all read books, share languages, and it's through the sharing of stories that we get to understand different cultures. It creates opportunities for individuals who have talent, but not enough awareness and visibility. We're amplifying different languages, different publishing connections, so we are showcasing writers at festivals like JLF. What it does is brings the next generation of publishing leaders from the UK and India together. I was really excited. I've never really known anything about Indian publishing, but I'm aware that there's a lot of amazing writers here, and it's been an amazing experience so far. Translations have always been around. It's absolutely marvellous to be part of uh, something that is so pan-India. The more immersive the experience has been, uh, the more layers have opened up and every layer has given me so much to learn about and uh, that has been perhaps the biggest takeaway. But it's very difficult for translated works to find a market. This is a brilliant way of building trust and understanding, which is absolutely core to the British Council's mission. Uh, 1,400 artists through 40 projects and across 21 cities, so the scale of the work is really, really amazing. The International Publishing Fellowship is really important because we really want to support the next generation of publishers to meet each other, get to know each other, grow their networks and see more new titles published. I'm told Right Assam, uh, jointly collaborated by British Council and uh, BE Books. This is the outcome of this project where uh, there are 12 stories uh, which are translated from Assamese to English. Language is a Queer Thing was a collaboration with British Council. It did give me a chance to collaborate with several poets across the world. So yeah, it has been absolutely brilliant, you know, to uh, have this exchange of poetic ideas. So Penn presents this collaborative project conveying stories, books, across forms and genres and across those linguistic and national boundaries, expanding worldviews. It's about giving readers access to stories they might not otherwise hear. Language and writers and publishing, they bind us together, either as readers or as writers in their own right. It's obviously a very rich landscape and it's one that's really worth exploring and I hope I'm going to have a chance to see more and read more of these books in translation in the future. It's projects like this and like the one that we'll be showcasing at Jaipur in our Translating Words, Translating Worlds session that enable us to really bring writers in Indian languages to the UK. Writers like this, who've been published in this anthology of Assamese writers, who otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity to get their voices heard. For us, multilingualism is absolutely key to understanding and trust. Through our work, we enable access to the second largest English language publishing market, and there are very strong backward and forward links that we're building between young publishers and writers in India and in the UK.